name is Nicole. I'm a tea writer and educator, and I'm here to help you learn more about tea. And so today I wanted to talk about the Kyusu. Um, so typically um, we think of Kyusu as a side handle teapot. Um, the name actually translates in Japanese though to just teapot. So it does not have to have a side handle, but typically that is the design that's kind of seen most often nowadays, I would say. You can certainly have other designs though as well. Basically, Kyusu can be used for any teapot, but typically it's used primarily for Japanese teapots. Um, these two teapots are not Japanese, um, but they can certainly still be called Kyusu because they do have the side handle. So this style of teapot with this handle on the side um, is called Kokode. Um, in Japanese. So it was designed to make it easier to serve tea to someone who was sitting across from you inside of a tea room. Now I'm right-handed so all of mine are right-handed but if you're left-handed they are a bit more expensive and harder to find but they do make left-handed kyusus so that way it's a bit easier for you to pour. Now there are a few things that kind of set um, ki uh, side handle kyusus like these apart. One thing you'll notice is that the handles are usually hollow. Um, and that's so that way you can hold it um, and not burn yourself. Even if the tea inside is hot, um, your hand will stay cool on that handle. Um, not all of them have these, but many of them do, where there's kind of like a mesh screen built in um, as a way of catching your tea and keeping it from going into the cups. Um, that can be a little tricky to clean. Um, so similar to, um, you know, Ishin clay pots or even the cast iron teapots that we talked about in a previous video, um, you want to make sure that you're cleaning your kiyosus thoroughly. Um, if you do get like little leaf bits stuck in there um, and they're kind of being stubborn, um, sometimes just using a clean, soft toothbrush um, can help get those out. And you'll find these in a variety of styles um, and colors, sizes. Um, for example, this one is glazed, um, so there's no actual clay that's coming into contact with the tea. Um, whereas this one, the inside is not glazed. They just kind of have different purposes. I would say ones that are glazed are a little bit more versatile because you can theoretically basically brew anything in them where if they are not glazed you want to kind of stick to one type of tea like for example I only use this for Japanese green teas. One of my newest kiyosus um, is this funky little guy. Um, so the idea is for a tea like Gyokuro um, where it's very delicate you really want to keep your water temperature ex uh, fairly low. Um, the shape of the teapot is very wide and flat um, so that way the heat from the water can dissipate faster because there's more surface area. I hope that this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have a Kiyosu um, and what tea you'd like to brew in it. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.